wasn't a coincidence. Now, it's not a coincidence, okay? We did it with two other dogs. You saw it yourself. Or you didn't, and you don't care. Again, open the front door. Bear stays. No, down. He wanted to go. Down. Good boy. And he wanted to go. But we're not going to let him go. We're going to keep Bear in the stay. Right? Because behaving inside the home is extremely important. We talked about that in a couple other videos. Who cares if the dog can look great in the field, but can they look good inside of a home? Can you sit down and watch TV with your dog sitting there in a place, not tearing up the house, biting the kids, chasing the cats, bear down? No treats, no leashes, bears listening. We give a bear command, he does it without a treat. This is called proofing a dog, which is what we're doing, okay? So... This is extremely important in dog training. Dogs have to be proof before they get they get let go. Bear wants to get up. I want to tell him down, down, and he goes back down. It's that simple, okay? And I understand he wants to run around, and I will release him from his place in a minute. But for right now, we're proving a point that you don't have to use treats. You don't need a prong collar. You can train your dog and all the things you need without all those tools if you know how to. So... Again, bears and they stay, and we should be able to get up and walk around without bear acting like a fool. Even when dogs make mistakes, that's okay in dog training because down, down, because we have to correct them so they understand what we want from them, okay? If a dog was perfect, we wouldn't need dog trainers. I keep saying that again. If we, if dog, if we didn't need, if you, if the dogs were perfect, you wouldn't have a job. I wouldn't have a job, nor would other dog trainers. So it's pointless posting a video of a dog being perfect when the dog is actually not, just to make yourself look good and get clout down, down, to get clout and get other clients and the dog last dog you sent off wasn't fully trained bear is going to be here for more than two three weeks so he got that extra training that a lot of dogs that came to me didn't get again that's not on me i give you packages i tell people what they can have they can do four eight weeks they can do off leash they can do in home a lot of people would prefer on leash on leash is me giving a dog treats on leash on leash is not on beyond the fence Unleash really doesn't address issues that you really need to happen in your home. So, again, I go back to you're looking for a dog, you want to get your dog trained, you probably want to start looking into everything, especially when it deals with the home. That's extremely important, okay? Because if not, you're going to get an unfinished dog, especially if they're still eating treats when they leave. And no, I don't care how good you are. You need those two weeks to teach your dog the commands. Now we're going to take Bear outside and we're going to do off-leash like we did with the other dogs with Bear off-leash outside of perimeter. So you guys stay tuned.